Never mind what you heard. This is something I heard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the base level. The, the base, the base model. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The base model. E, e class. At the top, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm here. We here. Mm-hmm. Swing on beats, all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I had to rep. I had to rep for the set. She, she finally cared about her kids. Yeah. She had to put her life on the line and make up for all the being in church for four years. Making your, your elementary age kids learn how to cook crack. <laughs> yeah. When they counted, she, she, she held it down. She held it down. <laughs> she held it down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh man! All right, all right. What's up? So yo, so uh, all right, so oh, they don't they don't know at home really, but like we do blocks when we record. Right. So our, we have a twofer, but it's cuffing season. It is cuffing season. It's the end of the summer. It's the end of the summer. Now, for gentlemen like myself, mm-hmm. that doesn't mean. No, of course. I'm. Yes. You've made it. You know what I'm saying? I, Unlike, I, you know, I'm where, I'm, I'm our where, protagonists. I'm, I'm where we desire to be. Yes. That is what all the rom-coms are trying to get, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, but unfortunately, the way movies are, movies are built on flaws. Mm-hmm. So, if you're going to make movies in the love, it, like, in the interest of love, and movies are based on things going wrong, that's how you get romance comedies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've tried our hand at some sports movies. Mm-hmm. We've tried our hand at a couple of comedies. Yep. And, um, this is a different, you know, this and is. Now we're going to see the bros. <laughs> oh, we've actually done um, some animated movies. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have one that I want to do. Okay. Um, I think we both watched it too. So okay. Be a good one. Okay. Um, and, um, yeah. Now yeah. it's time to attack rom coms. Yeah. Let's talk about love. Mm-hmm. I we pay attention to the love stories mm-hmm. within films. Yeah, I yeah, you focus on the relationships between characters, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Friendship structures, uh obviously romantic structure, yeah. So I'm not the guy that's too macho for rom coms. Nah, I don't think I am yet. For like a for a good for a good rom com. I can't do like the overly like ridiculous like okay. yeah like stuff that is um i wonder what you consider overly ridiculous because this would be on that list for me <laughs> the um, first time i watched this after mm-hmm. making the assignment mm-hmm. i actually got upset at the end and called you <laughs> <laughs> like what did you make me watch mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like I think for me it's like um like the overly like slapstick slapstick stuff. Like okay. yeah. Like those. Really? Like a, um like a nice like um like a nice James Bond or something like like um what are those like like to me like I say that's like wedding Would you say Wedding Crashers is a rom com? To me I feel like it's uh yeah, I guess I'm there's romance, there's comedy, but it's like really you know yeah, what's it's re- really mature. The breakup? Yeah. Like to me, that's, that's okay, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. Yeah. What was the premise of that? They were, obviously they were breaking up, but what did they, 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 they were still split in the apartment? And it was just like, yeah, it was like trying to like. Cohabitate. The process of the breakup. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen that as like an adult. Version of friend, of friend, not the show friend, 
Because mm-hmm. I just said you're a brand new friend. Mm-hmm. But um, the co-parenting versus like, which friends do you listen to? Which friends do I listen to? Okay. Like, do you, like, do you still, like they used to be in a bowl. Yeah, so yeah. Like, who gets to still be a part of the team? Yeah, like, yeah. This is our favorite restaurant. You go Wednesdays. I go Fridays. Yeah. Or which person relinquishes <laughs> the r- I initially introduced. Yeah. And, and I might want to bring know. something. You know what I mean? I might want to bring something by and not see you there. Yeah, no, nobody's at the spot. Send them chicken and fries, yo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And before we started talking about specific scenes like I just did, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we are here for 500 days of summer. 500 days of summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, completely new movie to you. Now, um, just being a jerk, mm-hmm. it's 365 days in a year. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, for that a wasn't even really a whirlwind. Yeah, it's for a year and a half. Under a year and a half. Yeah. It wasn't even that deep. Not at all. And like, yo, the red flags are prevalent red flags. from the beginning. And, and but there, it's not toxic, but it's just like you know, do's and don'ts. Okay. Do's and don'ts. Good. Yeah. You know, Okay. So it's it's it is not ruining it because I'm probably gonna agree with with a lot of shit that you got to say because bro. So uh, we have we have Tom who is supposed to be this hopeless romantic uh, and like really wants to be in love. That's that's pretty much the gist of it. He thinks that uh, peak happiness in life is being in love. Like that's. That's it for him. Like, fuck my career, you know, really, you know. Um, Cause that's a green flag when that pops up when she's like, oh, why don't you go do that? And then you see him go to his desk. Oh, but I can't, I can't create right now. Like, you know, disingenuous. The word I fucking love. <laughs> the word I love, yo. But um, yeah, uh, basically just falls in love with his. Um, uh, what is she, an assistant? She's an assistant at the office, co-worker, colleague. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, so yeah, so some do's. Um, clear communication. Be honest with yourself. Be open to different perspectives. Except when it's over. And learn from every relationship, yo. So, like, some of the, the like, key uh, key things I've written down is, like, yo, off rip, um, if you haven't seen this movie or when you do watch this movie, like, yo, summer is straightforward with him. Pre- well, you know what? It, she's, she's up front, but then even more so when things start to prolong and get a little heavy, which I wasn't a fan of that scene. More so because of him, but it's just like, yo, dude, you're you're making her have to double down again, and it's weird. Um, okay. okay, so yeah, so I, you know, she's up front with him about not wanting a serious relationship. Um, you know, uh, I mean, we're adults here. Clear communication. That's, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna to get to the don'ts, though. You want, you want me to just do the do's and the don'ts? All right, knock them all out. All right, so some of the don'ts. I want to make sure. <laughs> the, this one is, 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 is major, I think. Uh, don't idolize your partner. Um, don't ignore red flags. Uh, don't assume feelings will change. Don't cling to the past. And also, don't rely on someone else for your happiness. Like, say that. Say, wait. Don't so cling to the past. Yep. 
Um, my fault. And don't rely on others for your happiness. And don't rely on others for your happiness. Correct. Okay. You know. So, how do you feel about these? Like in relation to in relation to the movie. In relation to the movie, mm-hmm. I think that they're um. Because before, before you before you start, I just feel like I've seen this a handful of times. It's the movie can be looked at as all don'ts, like all what not to do in in his. Uh, through his perspective, but through Summer's perspective, that is arguably where I found myself for like most of my thirties so far. Is like her mentality, which is like, let's just see where th- this goes, and not necessarily like let's not just like no expectations. It's just let's have fun, let's see what happens. Hey, if it's if it's like that, it's like that. Because if we fast forward to the end, the conversation that they have on the bench, I knew when I knew. Now, I and it's think, that simple for a person like her. So, I think it's that simple in general. Agreed. <laughs> now, Agreed. I think um, oh, the thing that's tough, and um, I kind of looked at like looking back after having I'll, you know, we go behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. Like some of these pods end up being great conversations for me and my lady. Before, before, it, before we, even, we even get here. Word. So, me and she had a great combo. And um, just like, just off the trailer, she kind of made me feel dumb. Shay or Summer? Shay. Okay. Because Shay was just like, oh, she's a guy. Mm-hmm. And then when I watched it back, I'm like, oh, it's right there that she's the guy. Yeah. And they say it like they bury it in a joke in one line when like they say there's somebody um, they say there's some couple. And then he's like, yo, he stabbed her. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. And yeah. then she's like, no, I'm him. Mm-hmm. She says she's the guy. Yeah, they, yeah, they flip and it. And then his coworker, the friend was drunk when they were at the company karaoke. Mm-hmm. And when she started explaining, I don't want to be anybody's anything. I just want to be my own person. I was so stuck on what she said first when she was like, what, do you think a woman can't not want to be tied down? Then I'm looking at her like a woman. But when he said, oh, shit, you're a dude, I wasn't paying attention the first time. But the whole movie is written in a gender flip. Mm-hmm. So, like, and not, a tr- not, not saying that the whole thing is necessarily a gender flip, Yeah, but, but just... A lot of the behaviors yeah. that they put inside of Tom the male is a more character sensitive one. is yeah. what you would typically see in a female mm-hmm. character, and vice versa with Chasing Summer. Chasing love, like, yeah. and the thing is, one you just said it. Mm-hmm. So, loving love. Mm-hmm. You hear that a lot nowadays. He loved love more than he loved Summer. Yeah, but. It's not until later in the movie that he's realizing, like, the fallacies that he's attached to when he's ready to quit his job. And he's like, yo, this is all BS. Like, and I'm sick of contributing my share to the world's BS or whatever the case. However he said that, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't got it verbatim. Right, right. But um, the thing about that, bro, is, like, the person. So we'll go male or female. The person, in theory, that loves love, he didn't want to feel like he loved love. So he acted like he loved Summer that much. Okay. So that he could feel like it was a real deep feeling mm-hmm. as opposed to him just wanting to be taken. And he had to find out all the way at the end. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, some things are fate. Some things aren't fate. So it was like, oh, like, oh, you like that music too? Wow, I like that music. Yeah. And it was like, out of all these buildings and all of these this, and then gave ran down all these stats, mm-hmm. it was like, we end up working at the same place. Yeah. Like, but if she was ugly, would you have said that would was fake? Yeah. Would you have cared? Mm-hmm. It would have just been like, oh, here's this new girl that works at the place. Could you give me some toner? Combo over. Yeah. But instead, because she was fly, it was godsend. Mm-hmm. And like, you know what I mean? Like, the thing is, is like, in a relationship... I think it's important to have an equal amount of desire for one another. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily equal, like like keeping score, 
But just the equal amount of investment, like, yo, I'm feeling you, you feeling me. We don't have to percentage it out. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, if it's too lopsided and you feel like you're chasing that person, like, maybe you should trust the fact yeah. that, like, you should trust the fact that you're chasing them. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, live in your truth, man. Don't, don't, I don't know, he, I think this no, is like a. Don't live in your truth. Live in the truth. It, or in, in, yeah, in the truth. Because people, um, are, people are manipulating facts to make sure that they're living their truth. Mm-hmm. And what they're doing is they're like, no, he's busy. Mm-hmm. That's why he never talks to me. Yeah. He's this. That, she's this. That's why she never reaches out. Like, like, no, she's just been hurt before, and that's why she doesn't want to be in a relationship. You guys are juvenile because you want us to name what the relationship is. Like, bro, you just wanted to know what the relationship is, too. Don't call them juvenile to make her point of view make sense to Mm -hmm. you. If you wanted it to be defined, then say, like, yo, I just want some, like, realistically speaking, I just want to know. Should I be sitting across the dinner table from somebody else tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Or or is this a us thing? Mm -hmm. It's simple. It's very simple. Mm Mm-hmm. And sometimes, I hate to say it, but sometimes jealousy is a way into a relationship. What do you mean by that? No, because sometimes, like, like, all right. Jealousy? Like, you know, no, I got you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how, um, like, girls will be like, they try to get a guy to define the relationship. And then he'll be like, he'll be like, nah, we just talking, we good, da 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 And then she'll be like, and she'll be like, oh, okay, well, since we're just talking, I'll talk to other people too. And then he'll be like, yo, don't get fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where he's like mm-hmm. saying like, no, 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 it's us. Mm-hmm. Like it's the jealousy. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's the territory. It's okay. the way of being territorial. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, nah, I'm not dealing with her dealing with somebody else. Like, you know what? Like I know how that feeling is going to affect me. And like when you fit, like I think for people that are emotionally detached, they have to be faced with the fact that they want something all to themselves before they'll admit that they want something all to themselves. And sometimes the pathway to that mm-hmm. is like understanding that that person could see someone else because of the way, because of the current state of how you have things. Okay. Like you have it in a casual space. So guess what? Like I hate to say it, but like in the talking phase, sometimes people get spoiled by treating mm-hmm. one another like they're cuffing. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you and Shorty doing dinners, and mm-hmm. then, like, you enjoying convo so much that you stop communicating with the people that don't have as entertaining convo, but she never has to say what y'all really are and vice versa. So, whatever. But then if somebody comes through that's more entertaining to you, mm-hmm. by the rules that y'all have set, you're not doing anything wrong. That's why people rock with it because you have the wiggle room Mm -hmm. in case something better comes along. Mm -hmm. But if you ever found out they were pursuing their options before the something better came along, you'd be offended that they were stepping out on you. But it's like, how you getting cheated on if you're not committed? If you're not, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, yo, it's... It's... the, The movie becomes like... Like, or he becomes like a mess, like a complete fucking mess. It should. It's like it's a movie so hyperbolic, yo. Like <laughs> with how they're gonna show fucking like heartbreak and all that. But it's just like, dog. She was never like she was never yours, man. Never. She was never yours. Like she's there for the vibe. Like 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 you said, yo. He just red flag, yo. You could you completely ignored what she was saying. Because you just wanted happiness, love, companionship, all that, you know, and it's just like. And he did, I hate to say it, but this goes back to a traditionally stereotypical Mm -hmm. gender flip of like what you would expect the woman in this type of film to do. Mm -hmm. He, um, he was trying to change the person's mind. Mm -hmm. Like. She said that, but she didn't mean that. No, no, no. She meant that. Mm-hmm. She meant that when she said she didn't want a relationship. She's very intentional. She meant that. The entire like when movie. she, like she was still with going to your house and letting you crack mm-hmm. all that good stuff. But you're putting a lot on it. Mm-hmm. 
She never said she wasn't down to do that. She said she wasn't down to be wifey. Mm -hmm. And every single thing that she's giving you that she's down to give you, you're taking it as a step closer to a to relationship. Being wifey. Yeah, yeah. That she never said. Mm -hmm. Like she said she would do she didn't say what she would do. She just said what she wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And what he did was he acted like sex was a gateway drug or hand holding or mm -hmm. making asses out of one another in IKEA or yeah. screaming in freaking parks or anything else yeah. that he did he looked at it like a bonding moment that was literally just like dropping a stone on the side of relationship like dropping a <laughs> pebble each interaction by each it's interaction like, yeah, yeah. And he's like yo like and then look he's at the, talking look at he's the talk, ground we've laid <laughs> he's talking to the new chick about um all the stuff he's been through and she's like yo y'all never were even together bro Yo, I'm sick at that scene because, like, Shorty, what do you got going on in your life where you're about to see he, He's telling you, like, yo, I'm heartbroken. Mm -mm. All this other shit. Why are you there? You missed it. That's the movie being like a cannibal of itself and showing what the dating process is. Mm -hmm. People always want the people that don't want them. Like, he's... Literally talking about the girl that doesn't yeah, want him say that and telling the girl, giving the girl the straight <laughs> truth right at the beginning mm -hmm. and not realizing that he's being summer to this girl. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this girl's smart enough to get out before the day even ends. Yeah. For, but for sure. he was doing the same thing. I don't blame Shorty for like, just like, fuck it. We outside. Like, I'm here now. Let's see where the night goes. Drinks. Yeah, a couple drinks. We both swiped, right? Yo, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> nah, I mean, it was, a, it was a, the power pity, of suggestion. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It was, a good, fuck. it was a good blind date. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so-and-so and so-and-so -so told me to pull up. So mm -hmm. I pulled up. Like, you seem cool. Mm -hmm. That was that. Yeah. Like, yo, it was... <sighs> yeah, I think um, I I do like that... Um, I, I, I can't think of another, like, a movie off just off the top um, that, like, romantically deals with, like... Basically, um, what a relation, what a relationship looks like, or relations look like, to to the two different parties at the same time. Like, yo, it's like they're in the same relationship, but they're oh, getting expectation two, versus but reality. they're getting two different Split results. Screen. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just saying. In well, that that is a that is a part of it, but it's just like you, you're while Joseph Gordon Levitt as Tom is the is the the main character. It's just like. It's the same relationship, but two different views. Like, just completely, yo. Like, he's in fucking La La Land, yo. Like, he's in f absolutely complete La La Land. Like, to the point, yo, what is it? After the first time they have sex, yo, yes. they do the fucking they dance number. They do the number. flash mob. Yeah, the flash like the mob, flash yo. Mob walking down. Yeah, Which, that was like, a lot. you know, I get some yams. I do feel like that the next day, but we're not dancing. I feel good. No, that though. was a different, that was I a different, it. that was an exaggerated level. Mm -hmm. of um the good feeling mm -hmm. of the day after. Yeah, you got some pep in your step. I mean, he literally had a bird that was animated yeah. fly onto his shoulder yeah. while dancing mm -hmm. with strangers. Yeah. In a real world, there was a cartoon bird that came on his mm -hmm. shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yo, I've sent you some white movies. Yo, this is definitely one of the whitest movies I've sent you. This is a, this is a white movie. 100%. But... Um, oh, I think it's funny because um, I've never, okay, so one of the friends, the friend that I think was with his girlfriend forever that they never show in a movie. Yeah. Um, Strange. He, nah, some guys just, I mean. Some guys don't bring their girlfriend around. Word. Which is fine, Respect. whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. So that guy, that gentleman, he actually, um, he did a guy thing. Came in, asking play by play, mm -hmm. all types of physical details that you don't really need, yeah. not knowing she was there. <laughs> okay. The other friend, he had the responsibility of doing, of being, of, of carrying my gender switch narrative in some scenes. I don't know many drunk guys that do what he did, mm -hmm. and that seemed more of a female thing. <laughs> 
I could see a female being dr- I could see a girl that you're dealing with, mm-hmm. her friend being drunk and being like, oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry. She, yeah. she likes you. Yeah. And you just being there like, kind of thought that, but thanks. Mm-hmm. Now I know it. Like, mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I guess I'll just factor that into my game for the rest of the night. Yeah. Emotional and drunk ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like that. That mm-hmm. like I don't see guys doing. Not, 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 not like that. Not like that. No, no, no. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm talking yeah. about, and and I'm not talking about um, guys talking or saying things. Um, I mean like you know, um, what do they say? Like um, what is it? Drunk words or sober talk? To- um, sober uh, yeah, mind drunk, or whatever. Drunk, drunk words, sober thoughts. Some. Or drunk tongue is a sober mind, some, something like that. Some sh- just like I mean, hundred and f- it, it, some, y'all get to it. That yeah, y'all get y- it. Y- y- y'all understand. Comment below, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, correct us, <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. Tell me I'm stupid. It's yeah. cool. <laughs> you know, we love the engagement. That's a fact. <laughs> but um, but yeah, bro. Like I mean, like I just feel like guys do their own version of that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these things, because I'm not like um, I'm not a caveman. I'm definitely um, I'd like to consider myself emotionally mature. Mm-hmm. And like I like to consider myself like um like I have a handle on my masculinity, mm-hmm. but I'm not like um I mean don't get me wrong we all have different levels of humor, and it's funny because I thought about you guys because y'all have different levels of humor than me. There are certain things I don't do, mm-hmm. jokingly like you know whatever I play the pause game stuff like that. Like but y'all like um like when they were on the phone with each other they reminded me of y'all. Me and Katsuki? Yes. Mm-hmm. Cause what do y- y'all do? Um, the um, the cutie thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I knew he was so- about to say that. He yeah. did something like that yeah. on the phone, and I was mm-hmm. like, "That's these dudes." Mm-hmm. And I'm just laughing because I'm like, "Oh, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean? Like they showed so many different. Yeah, they covered so Bro many shit. bases. Mm-hmm. Yep. But um, I I really my favorite character might have been his little sister. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's Shorty from Kick Ass. Yeah, man. She had it together. Mm-hmm. She understood. She was very young. Yeah. But she understood the landscape of this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, he needed his little sister's advice. Yeah. For a year and a she's half. She's more, more, she's more emotionally stable than he is. 100%. Yeah. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's a, here's a shot of vodka. <laughs> he's going to need tell this. Me, yeah, he's going to need this. Tell me what happened. Yeah, it was a lot going on. Yeah. I, um, I don't, I, I don't know, bro. Like, the movie just really was, it was a, like to me, it was just a flip. Mm-hmm. What about you? Nah, I like, I like, I like. I never really looked at it as the flip, but it makes it makes perfect sense because I mean, yo, he's just like once I like once yeah. I said it, I couldn't unsee mm-hmm. it. Like, well, once me and Shay had the convo about mm-hmm. it, I couldn't you unsee just, that it was a flip. Yeah, and that's why I told you. And then you just start pod convo. Yep, I couldn't start to talk to you about it. Yeah, because like I'm like once I say this. It like makes you look at the whole movie like yeah, like the, it's like the Uno reverse card being mm-hmm. dropped and like mm-hmm. it just throws everything backwards like oh yeah. yeah that's why he's doing this yeah that's why this is happening like you know what I mean like it's like I can't really I can't see a woman even even when prompted mm-hmm. really like going in like going in detail of her dating history mm-hmm. but if a girl like I can't even see a guy but I don't know like once again I'm biased to myself. I'm not really asking nobody that. Like, it's like, if I were back, go back to yesteryear of being single or whatever, and I was like, um, like, my thing is like, yo, um, whatever I'm going to find out about your dating history probably found me. Yeah. I, like, I, I, and, I've and always, it, I don't be and, and if it found yeah. me, if it, yeah, then I can make my decisions from there mm-hmm. if I'm going to forego or forfeit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've always, I've, I've, I've never been the one to. I, I would never. I but never. But I mean, really. they're laying in bed, and he's like, "Tell me about your boyfriend." Yeah, weird. No, nope. reversed. Looks very weird on a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I think somewhere in my dating history, there's probably been somebody that asked way more information than I thought they would want to know mm-hmm. about history. Yep. So. Been there. I can't really. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so it's like it's like on brand behavior, but not for the person they gave the role to. Yeah. Back to us talk about power. It's like how they put all those traits in Angela that should have been in Tasha. Mm-hmm. That makes like conflicts the brain of the viewer. Mm-hmm. Like it was like, 
Like, that's what the wife should say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the side. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes people think, like, which way should he go? Yeah. <laughs> but not about power. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought yeah. that was, like, crazy. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, yeah. <sighs> that was crazy like, when he fought for her honor. Yeah, the bar. <clears throat> Just <clears throat> let it rock. Let it rock. Like, Again, cautionary tale, man. Like, and the biggest, the biggest lesson of all is the biggest lesson of all is, um, it's just don't, don't chase. Like the movie starts off by letting us know that, yo, he chases this shit. Like he wants to, yo, apparently like his, the kid version of him is in the background when she's like, she's like waiting in line for like ice cream or some shit when they're doing like the montage in the beginning, he's in the background. So I never Looked at it as like maybe he's kind of liked her the whole time, and maybe you know maybe he's plotting mm, this show. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if there's a just probably a Reddit subthread somewhere about that shit. Yeah, but did you see the words in the beginning? What do you mean? When the movie starts and he's like, yeah. "Yo, this movie's not based on like it's like no one like this is fictional." Oh, that's kind of bullshit. Um, one of the writers. Um, yeah, it said says that the girl's name. One of the like summer is based off a girl that one of the like co writers like. No, dated. but did you see it in the beginning? No, I didn't. I didn't really pay attention Yo, to that. When nah. the movie first starts, it says this isn't really based on said, anybody. It says this isn't based on anyone specific. Yeah, that's cat. And then it goes. Like I forgot the name, and I wish I remembered it because okay. I thought you would have known. Nah, it. I never. Re- and then Yo. it's like it's like um. Because I'll be honest, you know, I'll be like rolling up during the credits, especially yeah. not Jane Ex- Smith. So, so, yeah, yeah. Dot 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 bitch or something like that. Oh, nah, that's in crazy. the beginning, nah, I it's never written see, out. We I was even, like, yeah, like this starts off on the who hurt yeah. you know. Just just movie research. That's what I knew. So I mean, damn. Yeah, that's a brah. Yo, when we like, yo, when we yo. stop this, if I can get some, like, if I yeah. got service, you gotta watch that. Yo, absolute, that's crazy. Get, yeah, yeah, like, nah, yeah. like, I swear to God, bro, like, I most like, opening this? credits, bro. I'm, I get it, prepping. Yeah, You're I'm not prepping, thinking anything's happening. Right. Yeah, there. like, you know, you know what I'm know? saying? Like, yep. putting some dip on the first wings, <laughs> like, <laughs> type like, shit. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. regular, like we we setting up, exactly. sitting down. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> It's so Damn, crazy. Yo. I was like, "Yo, yeah. fam, what's yeah. wrong?" Because I, I did, I did think that was kind of crazy. Because it's like, oh, you know, you made, you made like a rom com, uh, like about it, and you were really, you were really fucking heartbroken. But I guess that's comedy for you. Like, and I'm glad we talked about that because mm-hmm. I feel like it was all an exaggeration of a standard trope. Mm-hmm. And the standard trope to me was like, guys get hurt by a girl, yeah. um, like in middle school. Simpler the and better. And then they become like a jerk for the rest of their whole natural mm-hmm. life. Yep. Because the girl that they were in a relationship with for six hours, um, like, accepted a sticker from another guy yeah. at, like, second period. <laughs> like, what are you talking <laughs> about? I think, like, like, you have a beard now. <laughs> like, fix your face. Like, why are you, like, why are you holding these other, like, why are you holding these grown women hostage mm-hmm. to your preteen heartbreak? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But... Like I could see that, like you know what I mean. Yeah, like I could see the niggas. guy, but but the funny thing is, is, like he had to develop that level of apathy and thick skin mm-hmm. for the relationship he began to embark on at the end with Autumn, mm-hmm. which was a fire, like quick little wordplay to have. Of course, oh uh, yeah, love the seasons. Yeah, that was smooth. Yeah, but um, yeah, I really believe that it was just like necessary for him to make sure that like he like. Got the like some, and we don't admit that. Mm-hmm. Like some relates, like some relationships you need, bro. It's a part <clears throat> of the growth process the, to be yes. able to be a whole human. You have to. I I'm I'm big on like just you have to experience you have to experience certain things to to like fully understand. You know, relationships is one of them. You know, like how do you know what you like? How do you know what you don't like? Shit yeah. like that. Yeah, my favorite part of of like. The healing process was just seeing him lock in, you know. He fucking went to the crib, wiped down the chalkboard. He started sketching again and started going back to his passions and shit, you know. And it's just like, yo, nigga, unplug, yo, unplug. And I think sometimes you have to do those things. Like, mm-hmm. you have to, um, 
And and then the start. I think the goal is to make sure that you don't stay in a vengeful mindset. Mm-hmm. Even though the start of getting better may be vengeful, mm-hmm. like you might go into the gym. I was about and to be bring like, up the yo, gym. yeah, you go to like, the gym. Yo, I'm just a, like, I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this twenty, and the next time she see me, yep. I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna be fresh. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of that shirt that I could never fit. <laughs> like right. that's how it starts. Mm-hmm. But after you fit that shirt, and now that shirt's too big, and now you're on to the next shirt. <laughs> and you don't see her. You shouldn't still yeah. be, like, pressing for the time you run into your old work. Yeah. Like, at that point, you should fall in love to improve, with improving yourself. Doing it and doing it for you. Like it turns into doing it for you at that point. Yeah. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with using a little bit of negativity as some fuel for motivation. Mm-hmm. But once you're in it, I hope that a higher purpose kicks in and takes over. Yes. Because that's that's dangerous. If you're, like, in a relationship with a person that's fully moved on, like, I mean, you'll mess around and find yourself on the train and they bump into you. Mm-hmm. And they just happen to not be near their husband and they're like, what the hell? She's, like, she's with whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, because in her head, she's never done you wrong. Yeah. And that's another gender flip. Mm -hmm. stereotypically like a lot of dudes feel like if i keep it a buck and i told you i'm better than all the other niggas that's out here lying so i didn't do you wrong because you created everything that you're mad at so real quick (laughs) yo um if we didn't just look at it as a gender flip okay would you think that um summer like necessarily did anything wrong because the night that he defends her honor, she gets mad. They argue. He runs out. But then she ends up back at the crib on some apology shit. Do you think she was wrong? Do you think she was wrong well, at that part or any funny. other part for, like, maybe adding to... He's already fu- he's already fucked up. I got you. He's already fucked up in I the game. I got an answer. You know? you know what I'm saying? So, But do you think there was, like, a wrong move on, on her behalf? Or, yes. Yeah? 100%. Because I think um, if I'm making her a male or female, because the thing is, this movie is random. Let me tell you that, people. Yeah, like, it even goes. When, like, the movie's going back, forth, mm-hmm. like, like in the timelines all over the place. And don't get me wrong, they give you a clear indicator for you to follow because mm-hmm. they're telling you which one of the 500 days it is when you're entering the scene. But it still is all over the place. Like, it's very disjointed mm-hmm. just because you're getting it in so many different orders. But... I think that whomever, whatever the gender role is, there was definitely moments of manipulation. And I think that when a person has that level of power over the other, they know it. Like, I feel like they play innocent, but they know. Where do you, where do you feel she may manipulate him at? Easily. Um, well, I, I think... That night, that night, for example, okay. Okay. when he's like, yo, like, I, like, you don't get to say that. I say we're a couple. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what the thing is? Is like... He spazzed. It's painful mm-hmm. to have those type of define the relationship conversations mm-hmm. especially when you're the one that the uncomfortable conversations when you're the one that loves the free flow when you're the one out of the two in the relationship that loves the space that you're in mm-hmm. because there's no responsibility and you get all the perks of a commitment without a commitment like, if I want to, I know I have a go-to person to talk to. Mm-hmm. If I want to, and my boss pisses me off, I know I have a, let me call Bay and tell her what I'm mad about. But if I don't want to, I could be in Barnes & Noble, I could be in the produce section, mm-hmm. and I could look over and we reach for the pair at the same time. <laughs> Yo, and we have the corny rom-com moment. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the thing mm-hmm. is, when you're in a relationship, not only does it come with love, but it comes with discipline. And the discipline is when you're in Barnes and Noble or when you're in the produce section of the Big Y, mm-hmm. like when you reach and you almost touch someone's hand, you're like, oh, excuse me. And you yeah. keep it moving. Yeah. No matter how decent they are visually, mm-hmm. you don't explore to see if there's a personality behind what you're looking at. Mm-hmm. You keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. It's the discipline. It's the it's the it's the part of it, it's the part of your commitment mm-hmm. that's I mean, it's definitely there, but people act like they, you know what I mean? Like, they don't understand the, quote-unquote, adjustments you're making in life when you decide, okay, cool, I'm committed. Mm-hmm. I, w- I like you so much that I'm going to sign on for building a life with you mm-hmm. and building and building whatever our 
our feelings started to establish. We started with our feelings. Now we got responsibility to know yeah. one another. Priorities. We might bust down some bread. Yep. Like we we um we might um share goals. Mm -hmm. We start to see like now my path is not linear. Mm -hmm. We start to see where my goals can interweave into your goals cuz now we're doing we're doing an us thing. We're not doing a I thing. Mm -hmm. And you know that sort of shit comes with discipline. You know what I mean? Like it comes with saying like now nah, I'm cool on I'm cool on all the other attention because the thing is when you have a roster it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You like you go, get to you take your, anywhere. you get to take the two or three numbers that give meaningful conversation mm -hmm. and you still have the world that gives you random compliments and you get to decide how gassed you want to be. Right. You know what I mean? Oh man, nice cologne you got on. Do you want to just say thank you or do you want to make a conversation out of it? Right. You have the ability to do that every day when you're a single man. When you're a taken man, oh, man, you smell great. Thank you. Have a good Thanks. day. Keep yeah. it pushing. Mm -hmm. And you need to be disciplined in that regard. Otherwise, you find yourself in a world of trouble, possibly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And, what, and, and when I look at the movie, bro, I just look at it like, yo, like she was doing things that you're not supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if she's the woman or she's the man. Because at the end of the day, like, when you start doing things like, oh, she I can't guarantee, I can't give you stability, mm -hmm. but I could give you this. And yeah. this is sex. Like, that's, that's manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> like, I already I know. I say all that to say this. Like, I know how open you are. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're going to kill the convo by turning on the music and cutting off the lights. <laughs> Kill all that noise. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he won't. He won't think about the fact that he wants to cuff me if I throw this on him. Mm -hmm. And he was sitting there like, "Do you think she manipulated him for the to go to the the wedding with her?" Wait, okay, break the wedding down to me. Cause, cause that is the scene where they do the split. Um, reality uh, was a reality versus. Um, but wasn't homie supposed to go there too? Who, like his man's, I think so, but he don't go. Right. It just, it just he ends called up being him when he was yeah. getting on the train. Yep. That scene kind of confused me a little bit because mm -hmm. it was like, was it what was it a coworker? I it was um so they were yeah all two pulling older up? two older coworkers okay. from 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 the office okay yeah. yeah so yeah homie didn't go with them on the the the, the trifecta so I it mean, just ends up being them pulling up look you know looking like a date but it's not a date. Like, but I think what I think what they were doing is um, the what people fear, in the work wife, work husband mm -hmm. culture. Like she didn't like, want to. You you think um, like people fear that. Like she you maybe fear manipulated your him to go because uh, she didn't want to go by herself. Well, it seemed like they they ended up there kind of like by accident. In my at least how I looked at it, yeah. Because like his boy it, was supposed it, to go. True. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I look at it like she took advantage of a situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when people have those inner working, work wife, work husband mm -hmm. type of extra relationships, even yeah. though it's not, like, a working relationship. Yeah. And then, like, it's like, You're oh. You're with me today. You know, like, yeah, they did that. Yeah. Like, he, she was like, oh, it's just a, like, she told her husband, like, oh, it's a work thing. Mm -hmm. Just going to go there with everybody from work, you know. You'd probably think it was terrible. In the back of her head, she's like. My, if somebody stuck on me, yeah, this is my, gonna be my little. Do my I still so got it? Might moment. be there. Yeah. Like yeah, the, mm -hmm. like yo, do I still got it? Let me see if I can still just like <laughs> string string so and so along for the weekend. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And he, meanwhile, his whole. But I think a lot of people don't necessarily um, realize when they're taking their "Do I still got it?" moment that they could be dragging somebody through the mud. And that was the perspective of this movie. Mm -hmm. I just do this thinking they're rekindling. Meanwhile, she's over here just, like, stroking her ego for the moment. Yeah, showing the ring off, fucking, yeah. A lot going on. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, yo, 500 days of summer, yo. 500 days, man. Yeah, which is crazy. Please don't get hung up on anybody that you're not actually dating for 500 days. Matter of fact, I'm lying. Y'all be out here wilding. Y'all be out here wilding. Man, like, yo. But just please don't, like. No. <laughs> Proceed with caution. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with feelings. Yo, there's, I mean, I see nothing wrong with there's how no, she even approached everything. There's nothing wrong with her approach mm -hmm. or his approach. Facts. But, and that's one, that's one thing that I think is poignant. Mm -hmm. 
at the end of the movie, she agreed with him. And she was like, you were right about everything except me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's okay to feel that way. It's okay for people to realize that, like, sometimes you weren't wrong for the feelings you had. Like, because people like to, you know, um, my lady will say a joke, like, throw the baby away with the bathwater. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, Mm -hmm. yo, like, you don't have to, you really don't have to be like, I'm through with love. Because loving this person didn't work. Didn't work, yeah. Like, nah, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, like, yep. think, like, the, the sooner the better that y'all figure it out. That love don't work for y'all. Because mm-hmm. y'all could have split a lot of money. Y'all could have split some bills. Y'all could have moved some furniture. You could have right. had to pack boxes and move out. You could have did a lot of things when you found out it wasn't right. Mm-hmm. So if you find out in 500 days before y'all bust down a lease... Thank God. Yeah. Thank God that you got you're already, scot free. Yeah. Th- thank God that you're already done. Like people have, people have had, people have impregnated and like conceived children off of one night stands. Like you got to thank God when you get away from someone you're not supposed to be with mm-hmm. in a timely fashion. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that gives you more time to find the right person. Mm-hmm. Focus on yourself. Yep. Be the best person you could be. Yep. And then let it find you because that's it. When Shorty was talking about the fate and like, oh, what if I went to the movie or what if I went here instead of going to this spot? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it works that way. Mm -hmm. It just sucks because after it works that way, it leads us to what our next movie will be. Yeah. Because all of the chance meetings are great and then you need to key in on what's going on Mm -hmm. (laughs) to see if it's going to be a good thing or not. Yes, sir. On that note, smoke that. I think on that note, bros, one time for Royal Soul. Mm-hmm. It's been seen and not heard. Yes, sir.